come back from vacation, you're late to school, and somehow she's stuck in the seatbelt. What is happening? Ember, how did you do this? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog today. We have to go back to our house. Okay, so we're late to school. We let the kids sleep in and we have a problem. I don't know how this happened. Amber, what's going on here? My legs caught. And she stuck. somehow got her legs stuck in the seatbelt. It's pulled tight right here, so I can't get any slack and it's like tight wrapped around her ankle. So I can't get her out. Amber, how bad. did this happen? It was just unbuckling and then it just... Somehow your leg got tied up in it? Yeah. So she says I should go get someone to come and help me, but what she doesn't understand is that I would rather cut her leg off than go into the school right now because I have no bra on, I haven't brushed my teeth, I'm wearing Brielle's slippers. Like, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry we're late, I look like a hot mess, and my kid's stuck in the car because I can't get her, her foot out of a seatbelt. What is happening? And now, right now, we're driving back to our house. My mom called my dad, told her all about this stuff. So, yeah. Hopefully, he can fix this because it happened also to Bodie. So, yeah. Okay, we just got back to our house. Derek, what are you doing? I'm searching how to get Ember unstuck in a seatbelt. <laughs> Derek has a little cold, so he's like feeling the groggy, but. Like I said, this happened once to Bodhi, except for when it happened to Bodhi, it was around his stomach. This time, it, luckily, it's just around Ember's ankle. I feel like I remember you got some scissors and you pushed on some part of the seat belt. There she is, stuck right there. Oh, she looks way too happy about this. Because I want to miss school. It's so tight. Like, if you can just, it's frustrating because if she could just point her ankle a little bit but there's it's so tight that there's no range of motion I feel like if she could just slip it point lift your leg up higher let's see if, how good your dancing skills come in handy lift your leg up a little higher oh my gosh I just got it okay okay I saved the day my ankle hurts I need to go out and walk right okay there. you were trapped in that for a little while hop uh -huh. out that was an eventful <laughs> morning you ready to go now no. <laughs> did you do that on purpose no. <laughs> Come on, sis. Let's but go. My leg actually did get caught. I know it did. I believe you. Let's try this again. Round two of taking Ember to school. This is actually. I swear, me. I was not like not trying to get her out, but I think for some reason when she moved, because before she was sitting in that seat, when she scooted over to like try to buckle herself in, it must have just changed the angle enough that if she just used her little flexible legs and pointed her toe. It worked, so I'm glad it worked because when this happened to Bodhi, we had to like Take pull apart the seat. part of the car and it was like really complicated. So that was a much more desirable solution. Are you glad that it's fixed? Is your, how's your ankle feeling? It hurts. It kind of hurts. It was probably rubbing on it. But now it's time for Cozy. Cozy, what do you have this morning? Um, piano. Cozy has piano lessons. We are just back at all of the regular life activities and we are excited about it. So let's go. We got the kids to school and then now they're home from school and then they went to some activities. Basically it's been several hours since I picked up the camera. They had their last dance class of the season today. They have their recital tomorrow actually. Are you guys ready for your recital? Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Oops. You ready? Yeah. That is exciting for them. I picked up some soup for dinner because Jensen has had a little cough and then he doesn't even want any of it. JJ, you want some soup? I don't like it. Ow. He's decided he doesn't like it. I think he would like it if he would try it, but it's hard to convince three-year-olds to do something different. And we have some great news. What's the great news, Brielle? What is the great news? You're here. I'm home. Brielle's home. <laughs> it's so nice. Ballet is over for the year. And so she gets to be here on Tuesday and Thursday nights when she would usually be at ballet. But we need Derek and Bodie to be here because look at this. This is still luggage that needs to be put away. I unpacked a bunch of it, but now the kids have to put their stuff away and I need to enforce it. So we need everyone to be here so we can get things 
put back together. Because this house was spotless when we got home last night. I'll show it to you now. What is even happening? What is happening? Murphy, did you do this? Did you do this? Look who's home and excited to be doing dishes. Brody, show me the excitement to be doing dishes on your face. <laughs> and Brielle, would you rather be here doing dishes or at ballet? At ballet. What? What? Why do you think I want to be here doing chores? Well, because, because if you're not, then mom and I have to do everything and that doesn't seem quite fair, does it? They're actually good little workers. I think we're all really, I know we're all still really tired recovering from the vacation. Going to work today for me was even torture because it was just like trying to get caught up with everything else and now we're trying to clean, get caught up with everything else and then we got all the weekend festivities and things still so, and school, here's the best part. School is almost over. But it's school not. is almost over. School is almost over. School is almost over. Nobody? Nobody? School is almost over. School is almost over. That's my girl. Yes, it is. Next week, next week is your last full week of school. And then it's summer. I think I get. That's true. My baby and her tiny head is going to middle school next year. That's crazy. They grow so fast. I get just as excited, if not more so than they do for summer, because that means camping, pitching the tent in the backyard. It means roasting marshmallows. It means roasting hot dogs. Did I already talk about pitching the tent in the backyard? I think I did. We're going to take the trailer out for the very first time next week. All the things. About that tomorrow. What should I be doing right now? Cleaning. <laughs> I just got put in my place. Time to help him clean. Look at those kids worked so hard and help us get the kitchen clean. I guess we will keep them after all. <laughs> they were all so tired tonight and ooh, it's dark. Hold on. I don't want to tell any spooky stories in the dark. Cozy and Emmy were a little bit emotional and just, just really tired tonight. So everyone was ready for a good night's rest in their bed and they're all in bed and, um, which is good. Tomorrow the girls have their dance recitals, their last dance recital of the year. So the girls, the little girls have theirs first and then Brielle's is second. So that's something fun that we're looking forward to tomorrow. And we're just glad that today ended well and that we got Ember out of the out of the car seat or the seat belt I was just like seriously how does this kind of stuff even happen but at the same time it doesn't even surprise me because it just seems like there's always something do you think she was doing it to get out of school she was saying that <laughs> she was saying that like after like Kind of joking, I think. I do think it. I, I think it was for sure an accident. No, it for, it's happened to Bodhi before. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it just gets stuck. Yes, but it was. It just was funny, and <laughs> <laughs> she probably was sad that she had to go. That we solved it quicker. I think she was hopeful that it could get her out of a little bit more school. Just kidding. But I'm like, you haven't been to school in three days. And you have to go today. Done. They're almost done. They are. They're almost done. It's they're on the, summer's the almost The final here. countdown. Oh, I'm so ready for it. Ready or not, although the weather doesn't think that it wants to be summer yet, so we're hoping that can kick it into gear. Anyway, we are gonna, my eyes, feels like something's in my eye. So, an eyeball. It, there is an eyeball in there. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye.